how to create and set up a newsletter on MailChimp. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own newsletter using MailChimp. So let's get started. Now to get started, I have already logged on to my MailChimp account. And if you do not have a account already, you can simply go on to MailChimp and then click on sign up over here. Once you click on sign up, you will be able to sign up using your email address. And that is all you have to do to get started with MailChimp. Now, once you have created an account on MailChimp, it's time to get started with building your own newsletter. So a newsletter usually is sent periodically, usually every month by any brand or company or business. And whenever you are looking to create your brand, it's really important to make sure that you do have the ability to send newsletters, to send updates, even if you feel like they're not necessary. Newsletters and stuff like that actually does account for a really large part of the actual sales that you might be making. So make sure to do that as well. Now, to get started with building your newsletter on MailChimp, simply head on over to a MailChimp dashboard and you're going to click on create and then you're going to first build your email. So you can build it with as a regular email with plain text or with a template. We're going to click on template and we can build it based upon a template, but I think I want to build a regular email. And the internal email name is going to be, let's say, my December newsletter. And I'm going to click on begin. Once I click on begin over here, we're going to start designing our mail. And once we design our mail, we are going to then build an automation to send that mail out. So I want to start with a basic layout. And once I do that, we will have some templates of basic layout. So I'm just going to go with one of the free templates of the, I think I'm going to go with the minimal template and I'll just click on apply over here. Once you do that, you will see on the top, there are, you know, all the basic sections that an email has, a logo section, your basic text, and then at the bottom you have a footer. So on the top, you have a simple announcement bar. I don't like that. I just removed that and then you're going to set your logo. Once you click on your logo on the left, you have your design elements and you can click on set logo over here. Once you click on set logo, you can upload your own logo and this will be applied throughout your website. So wherever there is space for a logo, this image that you select right now would be used. So I'm going to be using this Spencer logo that I've created and it is going to be automatically added everywhere. So now that we have added this logo over here, we're going to move towards the next step. So once we have our logo, we can add a size alignment and link it to our website as well. So I like to keep a fill scale. I want to scale the logo so I can make it a bit smaller because I like a smaller logo. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and then scroll down and link it to our website. So spencer.com, for example, even though this is not my website, I'm going to link it to spencer.com. You definitely should be adding a link to your website. Then you're going to scroll down and you can also add a block background. Now I'm going to make this black because I want my logo to, you know, look pretty much blended in. After we've done that, it's time to design the next section. So I'm going to add a block background. And once I've done that, I'm going to go back and then I'm going to select the text over here. And over here we have our text and we're going to go to, I'm going to delete this block instead and I'm just going to click on heading over here and I'm going to add my heading which is going to be December newsletter and you can add all of that content. I'm going to change the color of my text to white from the top and then click on the box and then from here convert this into black. I want to just you know have a black background for my email. Then I am also going to go ahead and add an image you can upload images off of your desktop or you know if you have linked or already uploaded images you can add those over here i'm just going to be adding some footage from my device 
and we are just going to upload that. Once we've uploaded that, we're going to scale this a little and we're going to align this to the right and I'm going to start adding some content. I'm going to add a paragraph over here and this, because I have not added a column section, I'm going to first add a two uh, ratio column then drop my image here. So I'm going to delete this content block and this content block and then I'm going to add a paragraph here. And then after the paragraph, I'm going to drop the image here and I'm going to browse images and I'm going to use the image that I just uploaded. And then I have my paragraph section here. So I'm just going to write December brings back the blues. So let's color me blue like this. So whatever taglines you want to add, whatever content you have, you can add that over here. After that, if you want to add further content, you can go onto the left and drag and drop any type of content. This can include product links, applications, code, videos, logos, images, buttons, paragraphs, and more. And you can format that with layout. So you can go ahead and click on layout and select one of these layouts to get started. Once you've done that, you're going to go into the socials icon and you can add your socials. I'm going to delete that. And then you're going to have your footer logo, which again, you can scale to just make the logo a bit more, a bit more fleshed in. Then after that, you're going to set your footer. So this is really important. You're always supposed to write the current year, 2024. Then you're going to add your company name, whichever is your registered company name. And after that, you have a simple section. You can delete that one. And then you have to make sure you are adding your mailing address. This is really important. So your mailing address, whatever it is, you have to add that. This is because there are a lot of rules and regulations right now, and you can get blacklisted pretty easily if you do not comply with those. So make sure you do add all of this accurate information. Once you do that, you're gonna click on save and exit. And after that, you can see we automatically add a required referral badge to your email footer to send your email to replace placeholder text. I'm going to resolve that because I think I want to change and receive. I think all of my footer content has, or I'm going to change that contact us at this. And I think everything else is looking pretty fine. All rights reserved. Want to change how you receive these emails? You can update your preferences or unsubscribe. I'm going to save and exit and see if there are still any issues. And this is a remove or replace the to add button text. And we're just going to resolve this. For some reason, it, it, oh yeah, over here is my default content. Yeah. But I have to link this to my website and I'm going to add a random website right now. This is not my actual website, but we're going to add that. And then we're going to add the button, which is going to be shop now or browse now. Click on save and exit. Now, once you have built your newsletter, you're going to send it and schedule it. So to schedule this, you can simply go on ahead and edit the send time, schedule this and schedule this for later, or you can exit, go into automations and click on all journeys and build from scratch and build a customer journey. So when December starts and you know, all of your customers are sent this email and you can build a automation with that as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.